Get Started Guide for Instagram. If you're already using Instagram for marketing or have a personal account, you might be able to skip this chapter. However, if you're new to Instagram, this chapter will cover the basics of getting started. Setting up an account. The first step to using Instagram to market your business is to set up an account. You should follow these three simple steps to do so. One, download the Instagram app. Remember, you can access your account from a computer, but you can only upload content from a mobile device. You can get the app at A, the Apple App Store, B, Google Play, C, the Windows App Store. Two, tap sign up and enter your email address. You'll also have the option of signing in with Facebook, which you should do if you want to integrate your Instagram account with Facebook. The benefit of doing this is that you can then share your Instagram photos with your Facebook followers. Three, set up your business profile. We'll talk more about how to create an effective profile in a minute. As you can see, setting up an account on Instagram is extremely easy. It can be done in just a few minutes. Creating your Instagram profile. Once you're on the Instagram app, you'll need to set up your profile. It's very important to fill out your profile completely. You want your current customers and potential new customers to be able to find you easily. Start by opening the app and tapping the Switch to Business Profile button. If you sign in with Facebook, you'll be given the option to link your Instagram profile to your Facebook profile. The benefit of choosing this option is that you can post Instagram photos to Facebook. Choosing a profile picture. The first thing you need to do is choose a profile picture. A good social media profile picture is one that accurately represents your brand and looks good as a thumbnail. Don't choose a picture that's too busy. A single eye-catching image is your best bet. A lot of companies use their logo as their profile picture. Whatever you choose, it's a good idea to use the same image on Instagram that you use on Facebook, Twitter, and any other social media accounts you use. A consistent brand image is essential in online marketing. Complete your profile. The last step is to add any relevant information about your business. If you have a brick and mortar business, you should add your address, telephone number, and store hours. The only place you can put an active link is in your bio. So online businesses should include the business name and type their URL. Writing a bio that will attract followers. Writing a great Instagram bio is practically an art form. You only have 150 characters to work with, so you have to be succinct. Here are the main points you want to hit. Who are you? What do you do? What can people expect if they follow you? It's a good idea to use words that describe your target audience. You can't search bios on Instagram, but you want people who view your profile to know whether they'll enjoy following you. You can use hashtags here if you wish. There are some formatting options you might want to consider when setting up your bio. On mobile devices, you have the option of formatting vertically so that your bio appears like a list of bullet points. You can even use emoji to give it a bit of personality. Don't be afraid to show some personality either. Remember, people use Instagram because it's fun. A good example of a fun profile comes from the popular HBO show Game of Thrones. Their profile starts with this sentence. Take what is yours with filters and blood. It's effective because it combines one of Instagram's most popular features, its filters, and combines it with the winner takes all attitude of the characters on the show. Targeting your audience. We'll get into the nitty gritty of audience targeting later on, but when you launch your account, it's a good idea to start connecting immediately. If you sign in with Facebook, you'll be instantly connected with your followers there, making it a good way to get started. It's also a good idea to follow influencers in your industry or niche right away. Sharing others content is a good way to attract attention. If your industry has magazines or other publications, follow them. If you comment on their photos, something we'll talk more about later, you may be able to attract some attention from their followers. It's also a good idea to figure out what your Instagram voice will be. You should start posting photos as soon as possible and figure out how you want to connect with people. If your target audience is millennials, you might want to use a casual or even a brazen voice to attract their attention. 
It is important to maintain a consistent brand image across all of your social media platforms, but you can tweak what you say slightly to fit in with your followers on Instagram. You just don't want to stray too far because many of your Facebook followers may end up following you on Instagram. The switch shouldn't be a jarring one. So now that you're set up, the next step is to start sharing some killer content, the kinds of images that will make people sit up, take notice and take action. That's what we'll talk about in the next chapter.